Hi everyone, it's Eric from ecartman12.blogspot.com and in this video I'll be showing you how to do color correcting on your videos. Now, this has been highly requested. A friend of mine on uh, that I've been talking to as well, uh, you can find his channel at PD Tech HD. Uh, he was he, he was asking me how to do color correcting because that's something I've been doing in many of my videos now. So in this video I'll be showing you how to do color correcting. So first you're going to want to obviously uh, in, import the clip. So let me just go to mine. Okay, so this what I'll be demonstrating here is the PS Vita unboxing. This one's uncolor corrected, as you could call it. So I haven't done anything to this. It's untouched. I've just taken this out of my camera and I'm about to edit it. Okay, so you can see it's right here, the whole clip. And it does look pretty good, but that doesn't mean we can't make it better. So what you're going to want to do is go to Video FX and click on what it says color corrector secondary there's color corrector uh, there's a regular color corrector on the top and there's color corrector secondary now to click on that and get studio rgb to computer rgb now you can uh, drag it onto the uh, uh, actual clip that you uh, you want to edit but say you've got uh, sort of like jump cuts in between then if you just put it on one of the clips it will only affect that one clip and not the rest if you want to affect every clip in this timeline, just drag it onto the track. You can see right here. And as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see uh, see this on the video, but the actual uh, color has already gone a little bit improved on the video. If I unclick it, then click it again, you can see it's a bit sharper. Whereas before, that looked good to us at first, but now it looks washed out. Now, what you're gonna you don't want to mess around with too much of these, but you can experiment if you want. Just uh, the saturation, you can drag that up. And I'd say do it below, you can see the 1800 mark, just do it below that, and otherwise it'll look oversaturated and it'll look bad. <laughs> okay, so that looks great. However, the saturation always makes the white surface a little bit yellow. So what I do then is increase the gamma a little, and then I increase the gain a little as well. That basically brightens the video up, so therefore gives the back a more of a, uh, of a white tint other than the yellow tint. Okay, so let's just unclick color corrector. That's what it was like before. That's what it's like now. Big improvement. And now there's still more we can do. Scroll all the way down and you should find something called unsharp mask. Now, where it says unsharp mask, just drag that onto the track. And then you'll be presented with these three. Just don't touch threshold, because that, I notice, doesn't do very good for your videos. You eventually notice something. Now, these won't work unless you increase the amount, then the radius. Now, I don't want to increase these too much, because if you increase them too much, the oh, the end result will not look that good. So just increase it to around about here, what I've done. You can increase the amount a little bit more if you want. Now, let's turn color corrector, uh, color, color corrector off and unsharp mask off. Look at the video now, and now I'm going to put color corrector secondary back on. That looks great. Now I'm going to put unsharp mask on. That looks absolutely fantastic. Now, let's just turn both of them off one more time, and let's just start with unsharp mask first. See, unsharp mask sort of brings a bit of breathes a bit of like uh, sort of uh, air inside the uh, video, and then color corrector does the sorts the rest of it out, brightens everything up. So that's what I do. It took a little bit longer in this video because I was explaining to you, but uh, this normally uh, only takes me about thirty seconds. So to do color correcting, it only takes me thirty seconds. That's how I make my videos look a lot better than compared to what you would previously normally see. So that is color correcting. It is that simple. Try it yourself. See what results you can pick out of this. Uh, remember, you don't have to just copy what I'm doing. This is what I tend to do. But you can sort of experiment with all these settings that you want to, and then see what you come out with, and uh, see if it br and uh, try bringing the best result out for your particular video. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Eric from ecotman12.blogspot.com, and I will see you all in the next video.